Hi, I'm Mark Devine. Welcome to Unbeatable Mind. You've chosen to take a unbelievable journey with me and I want to help you get started the right way. So this video is all about getting started the first 30 days. So, you know, now that you've enrolled, I trust that you've downloaded some of the material. You maybe you've read the ebook Unbeatable Mind, taken a look at the workbook. You don't have to dive into that much and you've scanned some of the um, information you know, probably in lesson one. So, then the question is, what now? How do I get started? What's this all about? There's a ton of information here. How do I organize it and what do I do? All right, so that's the purpose here. We're gonna dig into that right now. All right. Let's talk about intent. Clearly, when you came across Unbeatable Mind or Seal, and Seal Fit, uh, and you learned about this program and then you decided to purchase it, you made a, a, a firm financial commitment for what is a 12-month program. The, fi the Foundations course is 12 months. Now there's a reason that I did it this way, 12 monthly lessons, as opposed to give you the entire thing in one fell swoop for $1,000 or something like that. And that is because most people would download everything, take a look at it, maybe start to read it, and then the next thing would come up and they would be distracted and be off on to something else. And they wouldn't take the time to actually practice the skills, deepen their awareness, cultivate their intuition, cultivate their warrior spirit. Warriors are not, you know, um, in, you know just add water and, and then all of a sudden you have an instant warrior. I mean, it is a daily cultivation of the disciplines and the skills and the awareness and the emotional control five mountains and it happens day after day after day for a lifetime so all I'm asking you to do is to set your intention to stick with this program for a year one year you all know at the end of a year how quickly that year goes even though at the beginning of a year it seems like a long time so just project yourself to the end of this year and look back and say I am very glad that I stuck with this program for 30 days at a time for 12 months. It's that simple. Just stick with it, stay focused, set that intention. You need to develop and cultivate discipline. This is one of the basic principles and basic disciplines of a warrior is to cultivate, di cultivate discipline. Discipline means to be a disciple to something higher than yourself. And so in the context of unbeatable mind, that higher order that you're seeking is your self-mastery and to, to basically be a disciple to training and practicing every day to cultivate that in yourself. All right, so you need to have some discipline. You need to cultivate that discipline and that happens through little actions throughout the day. First action was to enroll in this program. The next action is to start taking small actions, small steps, day by day, okay? This brings me to the idea of a daily practice. So many of you have done athletic training or are in athletic training right now or some sort of workout program. And every day you go to the gym or the CrossFit box or your martial arts studio and you do some training. And during that training, you might practice new skills, you might do a workout, learn some new things, and then you leave. So that's part of your daily practice. I want you to expand the scope of what it means to practice to include now those things that are um, the realm of your inner warrior. Okay, so mental toughness, mental development, expanding your field of awareness, deepening your senses, opening your sensory doors, and cultivating your intuition. And then the sum total of that is developing that Kokoro or heart spirit. And so a daily practice is going to expand to include those things. And I'll get more into that in a little bit as to why or how. I want you to look at this program as if you have just signed and inked a million dollar contract with yourself. Now, if you signed a million dollar contract with another company or a third party, I mean, you would throw your heart into fulfilling that contract as a service provider, deliver the best value you possibly could. Well, you're worth a million bucks, aren't you? You're worth a trillion bucks. Who cares? You can't put a price tag on it. This program will help you meet your highest 
possible person, right? That person inside of you that you know at, at your highest expression is there, and we've got to kind of coax it out of you day by day. And yes, it will take more than 12 months. That's why this is a lifetime of practice. But let's just focus on 12 months. Let's just focus on the first 30 days right now, okay? So if you want, even write out a contract in your journal, okay? It doesn't have to be much. The I contract, you know, I Mark Devine contract with my higher self to commit to this program for 12 months and to do the daily practice as stipulated, okay? Sign it. The whole idea here is that in the first 30 days, we want to create new habits. It takes about 30 days to create a habit. So we're going to do these things every day for 30 days until it becomes a habit and until uh, you wake up and you can't imagine doing without them. I mean, that's how I expect you to, um, you know, to evolve with this program because that's the experience that we've had and all of the other, you know, the earliest members have had is that after about 30 days, you can't imagine a day without your awareness practice, your meditation, your, you know, your warrior yoga type practice, okay? The inner warrior stuff. All right, so look at it as habituating. When you habituate something that you value, it becomes a virtue. So we're cultivating virtuous warriors here day by day. All right, let's take a look at those daily practices. What are we gonna do every day? that's different perhaps than what you're doing right now. What I think is most important is a morning practice to ground your day in unbeatable mind principles. Okay? So in lesson one, I offer you a couple morning practices. And I will talk briefly about my morning practice and how I think you should organize yours as we go forward. So a morning practice just requires that you maybe get up uh, 15 minutes to a half an hour earlier, if you can manage it, maybe an hour earlier. The longer you can do the morning practice within reason, the more bang for the buck, right? Okay, so if you can carve out an hour in the morning, perfect. Some days that might look like 45 minutes or a half hour or even 15 minutes, but, but try to, you know, get up an hour earlier. If that's too much for you, commit to a half an hour, okay? What are you going to do with this time? Well, you're going to do your practice. What's that practice look like? It's going to be a combination of some breathing practice. So your box breathing, and you're going to do that for some period of time, depending upon you know, how long you have. It's going to be longer if you have an hour. It's going to be pretty short if you have 15 minutes. So you're going to do, let's, let's work with a 15 minute time block. You're going to do five minutes of your box breathing, and that's going to ground you in the practice. All the benefits of the box breathing that you'll read about and learn about are going to be you know, you're going to practice and work on. And it's going to settle your body and your mind down into that nice, you know, kind of alpha state. You'll already be largely there from the night's sleep, but you want to kind of maintain that, that, uh, that you know, mental aspect where you're going to be most um, accessible or have the most um, accessibility to your intuitive self, your subconscious. Okay, then we're going to go into a movement practice. And so I offer you warrior yoga, which is, you know, again, like an accordion. It can be 15 minutes, it can be five minutes, it can be an hour and a half, you know, butt kicking workout. And so in the context of the morning practice, it's going to be your range of motion drills, right? Getting the joints articulated, warmed up, lubricated. It's going to be, you know, the deep breathing patterns. And I'll refer you to the warrior yoga uh, 101 video to, to, for my discussion on what is warrior yoga and how do we do this. And then sun salutations, one, sun salutation one and two, warrior one and two, you know, a few other standing poses if you have time, a couple seated poses, and then shavasana, dead man's pose. So all that can happen really quickly within, you know, 15 minutes and get your body kind of ready for the day and breathing deeply, okay, concentrating. And then at the end, okay, you're going to go into your breath awareness meditation, and when you develop the skills further, then you will work on your visualization. Okay, so all of that is what I mean by morning practice. And you ground your morning with that practice. You start with the positivity, right? The visualization, the breath control. And you review your goals during your visualization that you have planned for the day. You project them onto your mental screen. 
It's an unbelievably powerful way to start your day. Okay, trust me on it. Try it. After 30 days, you will never go back. Okay, next time, uh, next during the day, I, um, I want you to consider what I call downtime practice. So this is, this is practicing skills when you are not focused or concentrated on something else. So let's say you're driving. You can practice breath control while you're driving, okay? Let's say you're standing in line at the bank or you're just shopping or something. Instead of just letting your mind wander, practice, you know, the witnessing, coming back to that witness, breathing, maintaining your presence, okay? Box breathing or just breath awareness or mindfulness, walking, slowing things down, right? Uh, what dog are you feeding or what wolf are you feeding? Exercise with the rubber band is a great, uh, great tool. And so find these opportunities for downtime practice. If you finish a project, you're working on the computer, get up, take five minutes to do deep breathing exercise combined with forward bends, take a short walk. I mean, there are literally endless opportunities to reconnect right, with our witness, to practice presence and mindfulness throughout the day. All right, and it'll make a huge impact in your life. So that's a practice. We've got to you know, habituate that. Next up is what I call training session practice. Okay, this is when you actually train. Now, assuming you're a, you have some sort of physical training, which I highly encourage you to do if you don't, because Seal Fit Unbeatable Mind is about integral warrior development. So we're looking at physical, mental, emotional, intuition, and warrior spirit. Those are our five... Uh, capacities or intelligences that we want to develop. We need all of those to be a whole person and to develop our highest expression of who we are as warriors. And so you can't leave the physical unattended. Now, I recognize that everyone's at a different place. And so that this program is a do-it-yourself program. Some of you are, you know, seal fitters just rocking every day and others of you may be starting with warrior yoga and 100 squats. It doesn't matter not a judgment. My point is you want to do your physical training. Now, how you do that physical training is important though. So just going to the gym and just, you know, starting to throw weights around, you know, looking at yourself in the mirror, getting all pumped up. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not unbeatable mind physical training. Unbeatable mind physical training is where you bring the same intent to that workout that you do to your morning practice. And so you're going to take a little time before the workout to get your head clear Practice your breathing, visualize the workout, see yourself accomplishing it at a very high level, being happy with your results, right? Powerfully moving through the skills with perfect form. You're going to set the stage so that you have the right energy. So maybe you have some nice music or, or you know, some, some imagery that makes you feel good, that idea of you know, physical posture and positive you know, power projection through your body. And then you're going to practice your breathing during the workout. You're going to use your breath to kind of meter your rest periods and your intervals. You're going to maintain a positive attitude and positive mindset through a mantra and, and positive self-talk. And the entire workout becomes an integrated training experience and not just about the physical body, but about that energy body and, and the rest of you know, your, whole, your whole person. So you're practicing mental toughness as well as awareness and intuition development through your workout. Very, very important, and it will completely change the way you work out. Next daily is an evening practice. Again, this doesn't have to be much. It could simply be five or ten minutes in the evening, sometime before bed. And during the evening practice, again, you're going to settle down into your meditation space or even sitting on the edge of the bed or in a chair, and you're going to start with breath awareness or breath control. Settle things down, and then you're going to go into um, a concentration and a visualization, and you're going to review your goals. You're going to reframe anything that happened during the day that you're not satisfied with. If you had a negative interaction with somebody, or you had poor performance, or you thought you had poor performance on something, then you go back and reframe it, extract the silver lining, extract the positive, and lock that in so you don't go to bed with regret. Okay, and then think about your goals and your plan for tomorrow. And again, visualize yourself just kicking butt tomorrow, right? Then have set an intention, expectation to sleep deeply. 
and maybe to have your subconscious support you with any challenges you're working on or any questions you need answered and then you know pay attention during the night maybe something will come up and you'll wake up with that insight or you'll have a dream that you you uh, there's some sort of sensation or feeling or image in the dream that is helpful so that's your evening practice okay and then sometime during the day, I also want you to take some uh, time, and maybe it'll be combined with one of these, like maybe it'll be after your training session. Um, I'm talking about contemplation. Maybe it'll be, um, you know, the same time you journal. Usually these will go hand in hand. So I want you to journal, okay? And in a journal, you're going to, you know, you review your goals. You're going to uh, look for insights, write them down. Just write down about your experience. So this is, these three work well together. So I would, you know, the way I do it is I go into, you know, a contemplative state. I might read something well, review my goals in my journal, write down anything that comes up, and then I'll go into my evening practice. Or it could be done the other way around. So all these work well in the evening. So that's daily practice. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not, and, and it flows nicely. And again, don't beat yourself up if you only hit one or two of these, or let's say you go a day and you're training, you know, out at Nyland or you know, you're, you're traveling and you, you feel like you missed something, as long as you kind of check in and settle down for a moment, you will find uh, value in that, okay? But ideally, we're doing some element of these things daily. It's extremely powerful, okay? Moving right on. What are we going to do weekly? If we're doing all this thing daily, uh, what I'd like you to do is use one of your contemplation sessions every week on a Sunday probably, to review your five mountain training plan, which we'll be building in this program, okay, starting with lesson one, and that five mountain training is like, how do I train myself physically? What am I gonna do in the mental development you know, category? What am I gonna do in the emotional control, awareness, intuition, and warrior spirit? What are my goals and what are my, what's my training plan? I just want you to review that and modify it. And uh, most people put too much into this training plan. Not too much effort, I mean too many things on the plan and they end up not accomplishing them all. So I encourage you to just be modest and use the KISS principle. So I want you to check your progress against the, the five mountain and against the weeks, um, you know, the weeks plan or the weeks training and the weeks goals. So how was your practice? How did you do on the exercises that we present, such as the news blackout, right, and the authentic communication? And how is your awareness? Like check into your feeling state and and sense how your awareness is. Is it expanding? Is it contracting? Do you feel like you feel like your consciousness is expanding? Most people, when they start a daily practice of concentration and, and yoga and you know what we're doing in Unbeatable Mind, they start to feel, after about 30 days, a sense of spaciousness, of more uh, peace of mind, feeling more grounded, like their field of awareness is expanding. So you want to check in and and uh, journal on that and you know, see if you start to feel those, because that's cool. Those are like benchmarks for awareness. Um, I think I mentioned this, review your week, but then plan the week forward. And um, check in with the Unbeatable Mind Facebook blog, or if you're a Platinum member and you have the Platinum blog for Q&A, check in on that at least once a week, more frequently if you can, because there's a lot of learning that can happen with your peer group Okay, and there's some unbelievable people, including you in this program, who have a lot to offer and a lot to share. Okay, and so help each other out. The Unbeatable Mind Facebook group, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people in there are sharing every day and uh, learning from each other. And it's very motivating. Some unbelievable stories and quotes being posted in there. So check in there every day or at least once a week at a minimum. Okay, and then what are we going to do monthly? Oh. Once a month, we have the subject matter expert call. If you can listen in, that's great. If not, it's always archived on the site and you're gonna go listen to it. Now, these are people that um, we'll bring in and I'll interview and we'll talk about different, you know, different subjects that are interesting to us, like visualization or mental toughness or how, how to become a Navy SEAL, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're in the Platinum program, which is the program where we offer some more direct coaching support, then you wanna check in on the question and answer call that we have once a month and be able to get your specific questions answered or listen to the call and learn from those who ask questions. You're going to review and plan for the next month. So the entire lesson now will be your review. Say, okay, let's take a look at what we learned for 
lesson one, you know, the readings, the videos, the, you know, all the practices and exercises, just review, and then start planning for the next month. I also offer a monthly challenge. This is usually a physical challenge if you're up for it. So uh, it's a good idea to do that every month just to kind of give yourself that little gut check and sense that you can accomplish 20 times more than you think you can. All right? I hope this is helpful. The most important part is your intent, cultivating the discipline, your daily practice, creating a contract with yourself, and habituating the practices until they become virtues and they drive you and propel you forward towards self-mastery, which is the way of the warrior and which is what our ultimate objective is, keeping in mind that the journey is the most important aspect and not the destination. All right? Hoo-yah, good luck, and I'll see you in the program.